Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be working with Microsoft Azure Advisor. Microsoft Azure Advisor is a personalized cloud consultant that uh, will give you an advice all the time on five different pillars, starting from the high availability for your resources, also for the securing your resources and getting the best performance out of Azure services, also the operation excellence and also saving the cost. So these are the five pillars based on that it would be giving you a personalized advice for your resources that are hosted in Microsoft Azure Cloud. It can analyze your resources, configurations and uses based on the uh, telemetry data that are coming out of your resources and it can give you the best recommendations for your high availability or security or performance or operational excellence or cost specific. It can be a proactive or actionable or personalized for the best practice information. And also you would be you know, getting a benefit out of it like improving your performance, security and high availability for your resources as you identify opportunities to reduce your overall Azure uh, spending. And also you would be getting a time to time uh, recommendations from these resources which are hosted based on these five different pillars and also you have an easy option where you can simply implement the required uh, required configurations in a easy to click button space. Let's uh, drive into the portal and see what best we can do within this. To navigate to advisor you can simply go to all services and search for or you can search here as the advisor but it normally will be there here for anybody but you can just search for advisory and that would actually list here and later point you can actually pin this to your favorites so that it will be there. For you. So when you click on uh, advisory, it's going to immediately analyzing all these five uh, pillars which we have talked like high availability, security, performance and operational excellence in the cost based. So this data will be coming up out of my telemetry for all the resources. So for the high availability, there are no uh, advisory information available for me to work on that specific one. If I want to know more about the high availability options, I can simply click here that would open up a new window and it would ensure that these all or the configurations are properly configured. If at all everything is configured, for example, high availability sets and managed disks you are using, you are ensuring that your application gateways are fault tolerance. Such kind of you know, configuration, if you use it, then um, it gives you as a recommended as a green button otherwise you would be you know ending up with three different categories you can see here for the security for that matter so with the security you can see here uh, two are highly impacted two are medium and zero are low impacted so if i click on security it's going to tell me what are the two immediate priorities that i need to take out for example these are the uh, this one is actually talking about three different storage accounts that are impacted and the somebody if you see here the secure transfer to the uh, storage account should be enabled but we did not enable that by default when you create the storage account it doesn't enable and uh, since we created the default settings it's advising us to hey you must have to configure your storage account um, in such a way to secure all the transfer between your storage account all the time so what you can do is you no need to you know uh, search for the in you know, Google or somewhere uh, to you know bring that information instead of that you can simply click here so that it tells you, you know what step to be taken automatically for that let's say here these are the three different storage accounts it says that hey you don't have uh, this configuration was configured so you must have to remediate this to us uh, to simply enable that HTTP yes configuration so that it would be securing. So if I just remediate, it's going to affect for that three different storage accounts. So it's so easy and uh, this would actually gives me the uh, points also. If you see here, uh, if I don't remediate, um, I'm going to lose six points. If I remediate, I'm going to gain six points out of my 20 points. So these are the scoring also it's going to talk. Now let's go back to the 
this has been already saved and I, I let me go back to the Microsoft advisory one more time so if I just go to advisor it would again analyze and it would tell us uh, what other things has been wrong so now that has been done and it's no more and you see here it it, it says that there are two other things also needs to be configured for example all network ports should be restricted to the NSGs let's see this is my uh, one of the VM it says that the port has been already configured for example here port 8080 was configured and which if I don't want I can simply take it out this it's gonna directly taking to that specific setting which is gonna impacting me and similarly secure transfer for storage account that should be enabled this is other one so you see here this has been already done so th this has been already fixed so you don't need to uh, perform any kind of action uh, when it actually reruns you would be you no know, uh, getting information as it automatically goes off this high priority one and also the other uh, vulnerabilities specific it says that uh, visual studio specific subscription uh, should be uh, assessment should be enabled so i can do that specific action if i really want it and uh, these all are such configurations you can do it automatically on your uh, from starting from your security center or from your advisory under security now let's go back to one more time for the advisory and look at for the performance specific so performance specific there is nothing has been already done if you are looking for some kind of you know, performance specific you can check out like these are the recommended options like configuring uh, disk specific input output uh, operation specific or sql all that has been clearly mentioned if not it would be actually listing here so i since i follow all my recommendations from the microsoft so there's nothing to be no room for improvements and coming back to overall uh, operational excellence I have one recommendation it says that create service health alert that means if something goes wrong with my resources which are available within that specific regions I should be able to you know, get some kind of you know alert saying that hey this has been uh, failed because uh, this uh, specific uh, region has done or some kind of you know or subscription has put onto hold or something like that if you want you can you know simply create an alert and get a alert for that specific service so let's say you want to take the service health alert or you want to you know replacing some kind of you know, tags or such kind of you know, any information you can uh, configure from here and follow that steps and uh, let's also check for the uh, from the advisory the last one would be the cost so think that if there are any of the VM let's say you are configuring maybe uh, two of the VMs are are in a, in a production and they are n they are facing the your clients but only one machine is working fine other machine they never gets the data back to that client so that means the VM is uh, production and it is in live state but it no clients are using so it tells that uh, based on the telemetry data hey this specific vm is no more used so you should actually deallocate or delete so that you can save the cost such information can be automatically popped up so that you would be saving some kind of uh, cost also on the user's friend and also you can save this entire dashboard specific report in terms of uh, pdf or in terms of the excel and you can view that in the format of a uh, proper uh, report format i hope uh, these things uh, would you know makes you more easy and you can you know configure your recommendations based on your settings and uh, i hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this